I am Ryan Magnin with Pandemony Toy Brands and we're here at our first convention at, with an exhibit. We've been to other conventions before, but this is the first time we've actually had an exhibit and it looks awesome. First of all, we got our life-size El Rey. El Rey is the hero of, all, well, he's one of the heroes of Alternation. He's the leader of the anim, human-animal hybrids. I gotta get that right because I'm tempted to say animal-human hybrids, but we're putting the human part first. So anyway, you'll see the most important part is you always brand anything that people are going to possibly take a picture of. Let's, let's keep going. This is a table we don't care about, but it actually does have some of our working samples. This is what a toy looks like after it comes back from the factory when you haven't painted it and you just want to see how the electronics work. Check out, we've got this guy. Wow, those eyes go crazy. He's going to have a color change paint so that he'll go from green to clear. And we've got El Rey again, the leader, lights up. There we go. So he's gonna have a paint mask on him that, that masks that light a little bit. So you'll just see it coming out of little spots. Let's start with Eddie's thick skin, cause he's my favorite. He's coming out later on. Well, maybe we should start at the other end, but we're not. So here we go. Eddie thick skin's going to have a projectile quill feature. So those three quills actually shoot out of his back in sequence. We've got Little Bighorn. Look at all these accessories he comes with. One of them that's missing is a, a uh, big whoopee cushion. I should have brought that and I didn't. We had it at the office. Um, he's gonna have an extendo boxing glove that actually works and when we're done, it's gonna be coming out of this mallet here. He's got a banana clip in his army issue rifle and a banana cream pie because he's the prankster. Let's move on to Sham. You already kind of saw his works-like model, but this is what he's going to look like when he's painted. Check out this this accessory he comes with. It's a book with a bomb and a and a, a, another spy issue uh, pistol because he's sort of the espionage expert. Um, other features he's going to have that I didn't show you on the works-like is that his tail is bendy. So, uh, neat, neat. Next, we've got Alpha. Alpha has some, he's the big bad guy, first of all. Um, the baddest of the baddest hybrids. Uh, he's got all sorts of animals, DNA combined with his human form. And he comes with some of these makeshift weapons, a, a homemade grenade soup can thing right there. Because he's on the lamb, he has to, he, he's super smart, he can make his own weapons. So there we go. And because he's a tormented soul, he has his stuffed animal toy that he was given as a child. Next, we've got Dart. Dart's gonna have some jumping abilities. You push him down, he springs up and does a flip. Comes with a bolo, a, uh, his toy action figure. So he's an action figure with an action figure. Action figureception there, people. Uh, we've got his little boomerang. See, Dart is the 13-year-old, kind of the youngest of the group. And so he's still... Uh, he, the army doesn't quite trust him with real weapon, with, you know, offensive weapons, so they give him more defensive weapons. Boomerangs and bolos, you know, so he can just kind of uh, defend himself. Next, we've got Bomber. Bomber has a catapult tail right here with an LED light. So when you actually pull back the tail, the LEDs inside charge up and, and, uh, and slowly turn color. Uh, he comes with a flamethrower right here, very big one and a little target that you can actually launch this ball at and knock it over. Pretty cool, huh? Let's move on to Sabotage. Sabotage! Uh, he has a spring-loaded exoskeleton arm right there. So you pull it back and it actually punches forward. And if you can see, you get a little shot of that back of him a little bit if you can. You can see he's, he's got that arm is reinforced by some sort of uh, hydraulic machinery. Um, his play feature is, besides the arm, is that when you press a button, his eyes glow and sync with a nuclear core reactor sound effect. And so again, he's another villain. So we've got two villains, six heroes. Let's go on to, last but not least, the leader, El Rey. He's going to, again, light up, and that light up feature is also waterproof. Besides that, that tail when we're done with it, it's gonna be very limber and it's gonna be able to, it's 
to uh, be used as a weapon. When we talk to kids, they really like the whipping tail idea. So uh, yeah, he not only does he come with these neat accessories, a pirate cannon that sort of futuristic and a harpoon gun that's also sort of futuristic along with this trident here that's also futuristic because our story takes place in the in the not too distant future um his tail is a weapon it's gonna be fun let's go through our lab rats real quick we've got a monkey parrot that's kind of and that actually fits onto el rey's arm so because el rey's got this nautical theme going on we thought hey pirates have monkeys and uh, parrots as on their shoulders all the time. Let's combine the two. And that's the idea behind the lab rats is that these were the early experiments that that the uh, scientists that made these animal-human hybrid, human-animal hybrids uh, started with these just test, test animals and they call them lab rats. Except for the one that Curtis is looking at. This is <laughs> Sabotage's uh, assistant, um, and it, you can see it was inspired by the uh, what is it, Boston Dynamics? Boston Dynamics Robo Dog. Yeah. Yeah. We added some uh, laser laser cannons on him and a little wince on the back, so he can tow people out of situations and kind of carry some uh, some additional accessories. Next, we have a Newt Puma. Pretty cool. I like that one a lot. This is Octo Dog. He actually can fit on the back of of Dart, so. He, that's why he's oversized compared to the rest. Maybe a premium figure. Next, we've got from right to left, we've got a uh, cat mantis nuke, I think. Yeah, it was uh, uh, cat cantus. Cantus, yeah. There we go. Yeah. To his left, or to, to no, I don't know, I'm, I'm backwards. The guy next to him is a sloth ox chipmunk, and he's adorable. He's one of my favorites. Uh, in the center, we've got a narwhalrus. He's a walrus narwhal, if you didn't guess that. Behind him, the reddish guy, is a penguin cat ant. Neat, huh? Next, another favorite of mine, right here. Uh, my finger's blurry, but that guy. All the way to the left is a shark lemur. Lemur shark, we call him. And here's another character that works, another lab rat that works with one of our uh, figures. Um, this is the coyote crow. We call him crow Yodi, I think, yes, something correct. like that. Yes. There we go. Yes. And he actually can stand right on top of Sham's head. He hooks on. It's neat. Let me see. Let's get a shot of Sham's crest. See? There we go. Cool. Uh, after that, we got a snake, a, a lion, aardvark character, and as an homage to Ninja Turtles. We've got a t uh, rat turtle and a oh, oh, rhino he warthog. Around. He got turned around. <laughs> Look at him. I can't get him. We've got a little exhibit showing the play features, first of all, and then it loops back around to a video showing an animation of all our characters. And it showed features that play features, too. Features that play features. That's two features in one. Well, I hope you enjoyed this live look at what we're doing at Astra and continue following us. We'll, we'll possibly have more updates. I'm sure we will. Um, it's been a great show so far, and we'll see you soon. We're coming to your town, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. If you have a toy convention, we will definitely be in your town. Hi, Ryan Magnan, Pandemoni Toy Brands here at the end of Astra. And you can see, this is what it looks like when a convention is over. There's forklifts going at insane miles per hour. Very dangerous, uh, some of these drivers, so you gotta be careful. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. Probably looks exactly how you imagined it would, right? And uh, that's our booth. There's our fence, and there's our trash. Well, not all of it's trash. These boxes are going home with me. Some of them are going on a plane. Some of them are going to FedEx. Uh, thank you for following our live streams on Facebook. So keep watching what we're doing.